Hi, Lara. Hi. Are you ready? We have uh, a lot of questions we'd like to ask you. I am ready. Okay. Introduce yourself in one sentence. I am a pretty optimistic and positive person. I'd like to think so, at least. What's the one thing you like people to remember you by? Um, that I gave out good energy. I really believe in energy, so yeah. I, yeah. First impressions are? First impressions are someone that, if I like someone that comes in with good energy, that's it. <laughs> when did you first get into singing? I first got into singing when I was about four years old and then took it professionally when I was 18. Name one thing the Star Academy experience has changed about you. Um, it's just, you know, opened my eyes to this industry and I've educated myself a lot. And what's one thing you would like to introduce within your new songs? The new sound that hopefully I'll be introducing now uh, in my new single that's coming out. We hear your digital concert is on the 14th, which is quite a new concept. How would you explain it to my grandmother? Uh, <laughs> basically, it's a concert that you can watch in the comfort of your own home and your own pajamas. And uh, why did you decide to do it? I decided to do it for different reasons. First of all, because I, think I love creating, um, introducing new concepts, and it's a concept that hasn't been done in the Middle East. Second of all, because I've been getting a lot of requests from fans to do a concert, and unfortunately I can't go everywhere in the Middle East. So it was nice to sort of have one platform where everyone could watch. Uh, how are preparations for a digital concert different than a regular one? They both have a lot of work involved in it and a lot of preparations. But I think the digital concert is just, in a way, it's a bit riskier because it's a new concept, so it's something that's a bit difficult for people to grasp. Uh, whereas a regular concert, I mean, people go to concerts almost every day, so the digital concert is just... It's a bit of an, it's a different experience for me and for the viewers as well. So anything you're worried about, about the digital concert? <laughs> I think more or less everything. <laughs> but no, I think hopefully everything will turn out well. And what's one thing you're excited about? One thing I'm excited about is for my fans to finally see me perform after a really long time of being away. Because I've been away for a while. Uh, what do you plan on wearing? What do I plan on wearing? I think you'll see at the concert. <laughs> okay, and um, how long would it be? The concert will probably be about an hour and a little bit. Depending. Maybe Are you... an encore or something. Are you going to be wearing various outfits? No, I have one fixed outfit I'm keeping throughout the whole concert. Uh, what's something you'd be super happy to achieve? Something I'd be super happy to achieve. Well, I like to take things step by step. So for now, let's just get through this concert and turn out well, hopefully. A hobby that's not related to your work? I love doing makeup. If I wasn't uh, a singer, I'd probably be a makeup artist. <laughs> Which was actually our next uh, question. Perfect. Uh, the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you? Um, the best piece of advice everyone has ever and, uh, woo! Anyone who's ever given me, that's a tongue twister. Um, being good will get you places. Your biggest fear? Cars and driving. <laughs> who's your favorite artist of all times? Um, Michael Bublé and Beyonce, it's a tie. A fashion icon? Fashion icon, Blake Lively. Blake Lively, I can't speak today. <laughs> Can you share with us one weird thing about your style? One weird thing about my style? Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> a weird thing about my style. Um, I can dress my age, but then I have a tendency to dress like a grandma sometimes. My Actually, my pajamas are very granny-like pajamas. Everyone makes fun of me for that. So you find me dressed up like this in the morning, and then I look like your grandma at night. <laughs> Summer or winter? Summer. Red or pink? Red. Coffee or tea? Tea. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. What do you do when you're in doubt? Ask my mom. A secret to healthy hair is? Can I say herbal essences? <laughs> uh, healthy hair. Um, I think just, you know, take care of it. Pamper it just like you pamper your face or yourself. Hair, it is really important. Mascara or eyeliner? Mascara. Red or nude lipstick? Nude. Oversized bags or a clutch? Oversized bags. 
one thing that never leaves your handbag? My perfume, my mini perfume. Uh, one thing you can't live without? My phone. And what's one thing you can, uh, that can make a big difference within an outfit? One, uh, yes, it really depends on the outfit. That's a very broad question. Um, I'm not really sure. A nice pair of shoes. Your favorite perfume? My favorite perfume is Yves Rocher Organic Vanilla. One thing you can't live without? My phone. Dancing for you is? Dancing for me is everything after singing. And how many hours do you spend on the internet daily? More than I should. <laughs> What's one app you're currently addicted to? Um, I have two. Instagram and Jaime. Your favorite movie? My favorite movie, The Sound of Music. Your favorite place on earth? Disneyland. And food? A Lebanese dish called Mohrabiyye. Can you cook? No. Okay. Cupcakes, ice cream or cotton candy? Ice cream. What's the most fun activity you could think of now? Whew. Going on a roller coaster. I really feel like going on a roller coaster. One childhood memory you'll never forget? When my dad took me to the studio for the first time, I was three years old and we recorded a Disney song together. The happiest moment in your life so far? That's, uh, there are a lot. Maybe one of the happiest moments in my life was when I launched my album. My first album. Happiness for you is? Happiness for me is having my family around happy and healthy and everything being okay together. And your favorite quote? My favorite quote is never let anyone make you feel inferior about your consent. One random fact about you, no one really knows. One random fact about me. Um, I cannot drive, not because I don't know how to, but because I have the biggest fear of cars. It's not even funny. And lastly, share with us one thing you do at the concert as a sneak peek. One thing. I will be releasing my new single, which is really exciting for me. And that's it. That's a wrap. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>